Patients with Alzheimer's disease are typically evaluated by their primary care physicians or neurologists. They undergo uh, extensive testing, however, it can be difficult for these physicians to diagnose uh, the condition based solely on clinical examination and history. This is the point where uh, functional brain imaging with positron emission tomography or PET scanning is very valuable in helping to confirm the diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. Patients with Alzheimer's disease typically have a larger than normal amount of amyloid, which is a protein deposited between the cells of their brain. With functional brain imaging, we are able to identify the extent of amyloid plaque burden, which can help in the diagnosis of the disease. So we normally see a lot of activity there. Patients will arrive in the Department of Nuclear Medicine and undergo an injection of a small amount of radioactive material, typically in an arm vein. They uh, wait quietly in a reclining chair for approximately 30 minutes. Patients are then brought into the imaging suite where they will lie uh, within the PET scanner, which is a large uh, donut-shaped machine. Uh, it's a quiet machine, it doesn't make any noise, and imaging of the brain takes approximately 15 minutes. And the brain region. Mm -hmm. and the Alzheimer's brain. disease is the most common form of dementia accounting for approximately 70% of all cases and affecting about 25 million people worldwide. With advanced brain functional imaging, we now have the ability to diagnose Alzheimer's disease earlier than ever possible. What's particularly exciting with Alzheimer's disease research is the prospect of identifying the disease and assessing progression after treatment. That means we may have the ability in the future to determine if patients are improving on medications. I'm Larry Saperstein, Assistant Professor of Radiology and Biomedical Imaging and Section Chief of Nuclear Medicine at Yale Medicine.